the infantry soldier fighting on foot will always be the backbone of the modern army. Combine these tough, well-trained soldiers with advanced platforms such as the Tarek's infantry carrier vehicle and you get a distinct edge in battle. This is the holding area for the men and Tarek's infantry carrier vehicles of the 5th Battalion Singapore Infantry Regiment or 5 SIR. Out for a battalion mission exercise, they are waiting to move off for the next mission. Like all other combat units, infantry are moved to where they are needed in the battlefield. Fighting on foot, they track long distances and face enemy attacks as they advance further into enemy-held objectives. Fighting as a motorised infantry battalion, however, infantry units such as 5 SIR can move much faster, are better protected and arrive in a better state to take on the enemy when they eventually reach their target. It cuts down a lot of the walking, okay? And it's a lot of firepower, cuts down a lot of walking, so it's very, very, very useful and efficient, yeah. Given the Terex, uh, it actually helps us to uh, preserve our forces and then only unleash it at uh, where it matters, which is at the objective area, yeah. With the Terex, traditional leg power is now replaced with wheel power. Eight, to be exact. The huge off-road tyres bite into the toughest of terrain to deliver the cargo of 13 who are in a better state for combat. And not forgetting the armour protection against enemy fire, mine explosions and also the ability to retaliate with different weapon configurations when needed. The fully stabilised Remote Controlled Weapon System or RCWS provides 360 degrees protection around the vehicle. It also supports infantry forces with direct precision fire, while weapon operators remain in the safety of the vehicle. The Terex can be configured for weapons such as the general purpose machine gun, the 40mm automatic grenade launcher, as well as the 0.5 heavy machine gun, and even the spike anti-tank guided missile. Moving as a convoy, the battalion's Terexes keeps tabs on each other's location and movement. For this, they have the Battlefield Management System, or BMS, one of the most important piece of equipment on board the vehicles. In the heat of a battle, it gets extremely hectic and intense in a command vehicle as the commander communicates with a multitude of people and switch between many images on the BMS screens on board the Terex. Its networking capabilities greatly improve navigation and communication among the forces of the battalion. Let's see the operational crews come across an event or incident, right? All the vehicle commanders to do, or troop commanders to do, just update into the system and everybody will be updated in a matter of seconds. Uh, for example, uh, blue force tracking, uh, which is a friendly forces, red force marking, uh, hostile forces. I come across obstacles, anything across the bridge, I can just uh, put in a text, put in an alert. It enhances their situation awareness, allows them to see first, uh, act better and react faster in any kind of situation. Working as part of the SAF's third generation integrated fighting force, the motorised infantry battalion in their Terexes share a common operating picture with a network of sensors and shooter platforms through the BMS. This means it can call for fire from forces that pack a bigger punch. I think in the long run, all the platforms in the various arms will be wired through uh, this, this platform called the Battlefield Management System. And uh, with this platform, it just, goes to, it, just, it, just, it just goes to say that uh, you, first of all, you know where every piece of equipment is in the battlefield. And when you call fires upon the enemy, you, you, uh, you will not fire into your own forces and uh, that would uh, uh, drastically reduce the fratricide in the battlefield. We can use the Terex as a mounted attack. 
if they see an enemy, they can point out to the T-Rex. There's an MG on the third floor. Roger, Roger, Roger. 